Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. So this catch and cook is gonna start right now. It is the hottest part of the day. I wanna go fishing, but I don't wanna cook, and I wanna cook later. So what do I do now? Let's get my prep done. That's what we're gonna do now. Yeah, you're right. And the first ingredient on the chopping board is three small golden potatoes right in the Tupperware. Next item, carrot. Just one carrot chopped up. Bell pepper, that's only half a bell pepper. Sometimes when I'm doing things, I stop and go, why did I do that thing? So now we're going to reverse a thing. As painstaking as it may seem, yeah. <laughs> Should have kept a few things separate from a few other things. Glad we got that out of the way. Celery is our next victim on the chopping board. That's just one stalk. Put that in with the bell peppers. Let's not make a mess here. All right, now we got three green onions on the chopping board. I'm making a mess. All right, now we got red onion going in there. Kind of working on a trilogy here, but there's more to come, so it's not a true trilogy. It's more than a trilogy. Eight abnormally chopped cloves of garlic. Now this is a true trilogy. I'm quite aware that there's more than three things in here. That's just what we call it. This is going to be the base. The base of what? I'll show you. All right, for the moment, the potatoes and carrots are going to the side in the fridge. Yeah, you're right. Guess what's in here? Look at that. This is the stock that I made in the video before this, the video where I was preparing chicken for bait. Yeah, you're right. It came out good. It's been in the fridge. We're going to add it to my saute pan here. Yeah, you're right. That's a 12 inch pan. I've got this on a, a little bit above medium heat and we're going to bring it up to a simmer. When I was making this stock, I did not have bay leaves in the house, but I do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about two and a half to it. That's fine. That's all it's gonna need. All right, I'm putting the lid on because it'll heat up faster. Looking good, looking good. We got a nice boil here. It's time to add my trilogy. Get it all in there. Bop, 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 bop. All right, let's get this rosemary in there. About one of these. That's good right there. I'm just going to pull it off the branch here. Sometimes I chop this stuff, but it's not really necessary this time. Got some caraway. Do a good portion in there. Sprinkle it around. This is gonna make the flavor very warm. Black pepper now. This is sea salt. Give this a good stir to get that salt mixed in there. I am fortifying this stock. That's what I meant when I said the trilogy would be the base. We're gonna get this stock all fortified up. Let this simmer. I'm gonna bring it back up to a rapid boil and then I'm gonna bring the temp down to maybe low or one, put the lid on and let it simmer. I might not keep it on while I'm out fishing, but it's gonna be a couple of hours before we get out there on the water. So we have plenty of time to get this all fortified up. It is now four o'clock. Let's get the bait and let's get on the road. Last time I fished at this spot, I was getting gaff tops and shark. Small bull shark, just immature, undersized bull shark. Let's see what I can get today. Now, I brought two bags of strawberry chicken out with me today. In the last video, I prepared this, you may remember. We've got one of just regular strawberry chicken that I cut off the bone, it's dark meat. And then we got strawberry hearts. Looks like shark bait, right? It's the right color. In comments, People have been asking and saying different things, and I wanted to clarify a few things. You don't necessarily need to flavor your chicken to fish with chicken for catfish. I just like to, and there's many ways to flavor it. I like using strawberry. Someone asked, do we use the red strawberry or red Kool-Aid strawberry stuff to simulate blood? No, we don't, because catfish can't see whether it's red or plaid or green or aqua or whatever. So it's all about the flavor strawberry flavor actually attracts the catfish the scent in the water it's more of a spring 
thing for channel cats you hear about, but it works for blue cats. It actually works all year round. It can be a good thing in summertime, I mean, I'm sorry, in wintertime to attract fish when they're not feeding very heavily, but you don't need to do that. And you can use grape, you can use garlic, vanilla, all kinds of things to flavor the chicken or not flavor it at all. I'm gonna fish with both of these at the same time. I've got two 12 foot rods down here. First thing up is gonna be chicken hearts. Put this bag to the side here. So normal rigs like I usually have, we're using sinker slides, three ounces of lead, 80 pound braid, 50 pound mono is the leader. We're using five octopus style circle hooks this afternoon. We're gonna put on it as many hearts as looks pretty good these are kind of tough they're not going to come off i think i think four is fine for that over here on my beef stick we're going to do just the regular chicken and we have the same setup as before five ot octopus style circle hook again take this piece of chicken we're gonna go once and then twice leaving some hanging off just like that that should work if you're gonna use strawberry chicken whether it's kool-aid or gelatin be warned it's messy bring a towel and go ahead and wash your hands off you'll thank me All right, that was a decent cast. Nice. For the purpose of this video, I would like to catch an eater size cat, but I have caught really, really big blue cats on strawberry chicken and chick just straight chicken before. It would be nice to catch something really big today, but I would more be into catching something smaller to take home and something big to release how about that can you see it there is something around the strawberry hearts we've also had a peck on the regular strawberry chicken oh look at that we had a drop back let's see if we have a slack line because our rod tip dropped back yeah I'm bringing in some slack here. I don't feel anything yet. There's a little tension right there. A fish may have picked up my bait and swam in. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm just going to keep playing with him till he shows me that he's serious. Oh, there's a little more pressure right there. I feel like I'm toying with a gaff top or a gaff top is toying with me. Oh. Tentatively watching this ugly stick and we just had a nice jerk on this one Yeah, chicken works Oh That was a nice hit, but I don't think he's ready yet been getting bites on both i wonder if we're going to get a fish on the chicken hearts first Ooh, maybe we're about to get one on the chicken hearts bit of a slack line here yeah if there's if this is a fish it's not very big i feel it kicking I really didn't expect the strawberry hearts to be the first taker here. Oh, it sounds like I need to grease this reel. Last time I used it, it didn't sound this bad. I'm getting a bite on the beef stick. Yeah. Not the not what we wanted. That's a throwback. It's not big enough. Just like last time, lots of gaff tops out there just ripping up the baits. But they do taste good if I can get a big enough one. I think we have another small cat here. 
Yeah. Maybe, oh, maybe this one's a little better. I haven't even baited up the, the ugly stick yet. This is on regular chicken. Strawberry chicken straight from the bone. Oh. Coming up over a drop off right there. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be another small one. I want something bigger than that. Yeah, another something small. Ooh. Ooh, there's a little bit of fight right there. Maybe he's just big enough. Ooh, a little bit of fight right there. Maybe we got something big enough to cook. Maybe. Maybe. We'll go ahead and start keeping them if they're about this size. I think I have another one on right here. It's not big. Oh, there's a little fight right there. It's coming up over the drop off. That's why it feels better. It's like we got another little guy munching on the hearts. Gave us a bit of a slack line there. Where are the blues at, huh? It's not because of the bait I'm using tonight. It's just the fact that that's what's here. Ugh, got another little fish coming in. I can barely feel him. He's just a little guy. Very little guy. Ooh, something's loving the chicken right now. The chicken from the bone. Shaking my rod tip a little bit. Look at that. I wonder if he's already on. It's hard to tell with these little fish. Oh, this is a nice hit right here. Gave me a big slack line. There we go. Oh, this is this is a better fish, guys. This is a better fish. I think this is what's going to make the pot. This is a better fish. It is after seven now. I wanted to stay here till I felt like I had enough. Enough. We'll see if we get this fish over the drop off. See if he. Oh, no. Yeah, come on. Oh no, man, we just hit a brick wall here. Oh goodness me. I've, I still feel the fish. Something's up. What, what is going on? There is a drop off here, but I've never had this problem before. Not yet, not till now. So. Oh, I feel like this fish is what's gonna make the pot and oh, we're gonna have to be patient here Usually I would just put the rod down, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep holding it I don't know I'm not quite sure what is going on Let me Try a different angle here Let me try to keep an eye on the other rod as well Horsed him up. Oh, sometimes when you're in that predicament, horsing them up could lose them. That is just a bigger gaff top. I'm getting another bite on the chicken from the same location as before. It's acting like a gaff top again. Fish is hooked up. Yeah.
at this sharp angle that it seems like there's something that he's going to hit. I hope I get him over it. I'm trying to rock him up into this column. Let's see if we, if we can play him over whatever that structure was. Yep, we got over it. Here's our fish. I think it's another gaff top, but a decent one. This will be my fifth one if I keep it. I've got four others in the tote. I've been bleeding them as I get them. Yeah, that one, we can keep that one. Yeah, maybe number six here. Oh yeah, we got one, we got something here. About the same size of everything else. Not too bad. Just in time too, just in time. Oh, come on, number six, get up out of that stuff. Whatever that stuff is. Oh, we got them over it. All right. Oh, he came right off. It is past 7.30 now. Time to get on the road. Literally just got back in the house, guys. So the first thing I want to do is up the heat here. Look at it. Check it out. I've already tasted it. It's nice and herby and sweet. It's got a lot of good flavor. So one thing that's going on right now that's wrong is there's just not enough liquid to do what I need. So we're going to add two cups of water. I thought it was going to be very likely that I was going to need to add liquid anyway. Looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and add the carrots and potatoes into there. Get it up to a boil. I'm going to take the dogs out while it's doing that. Look at that. Carrots and potatoes look done. So I kept six gaff top and they were all small. So this is what we're left with. 12 little fillets. Normally I would have, uh, if I would have got a bigger fish, I would have cubed it up since they're since we're just little fillets, we're gonna put them in whole, but not right now. Right now, we're gonna add some egg noodles. These are the big ones. Add like two or three handfuls. Let's go for another handful here. Whoop. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Get that stirred in. I'm gonna put this lid back on and take a trip to the dumpster all right those noodles are getting on their way now it's time to go ahead and just plop these fillets down in there like i said i was wanting a bigger fish and i was going to cube the meat up but with these little fillets we'll just let them do their thing they'll break up on their own it'll be small chunks and big chunks all right so we gotta do other things now. We'll just let those do their thing. We're gonna add broccoli. Broccoli is the type of vegetable that I usually don't wanna put in till later on because I do, I do not like it overcooked. I don't want it to lose its color so much. Breaking these fillets up a little bit. It is smelling good. The whole house smells like this. This is a very aromatic soup. I guess it's more like a stew because it's not going to be extremely brothy. That's why I wanted to add the egg noodles, beef it up a little bit. I feel like I should have added more broccoli, but I'm kind of running out of room. We are going to put the lid back on. I don't want to stir that broccoli too deep into that because I want it to steam on top. So now I'm going to drop my temp down and just let it simmer there for a while. That means we're gonna be right back. Whew, it is done. That is looking good. I've already took the heat off. Try to get up a good dish here with some meat in it, but not all the meat, some broccoli. Yeah, that's looking good right there. I think that is gonna do me for now. Woo! Looks and smells good. Let's see how it tastes. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I could have waited for it to cool down a little bit. It's really, really hot. Give me a second with this. The next time I make strawberry chicken to fish with, like I'm just going to use the gelatin, the jello. 
it seems to cure the chicken a little better, make it tougher. Kool-Aid worked, though. Oh, yeah. I just had a bite of the fish. Pretty good. Gaff Top will take on any flavor that you cook it with. Mmm. I did not overcook the fish. You notice that I put it in almost towards the end. I wanted nice, nice sized chunks in there. If you put your fish, your catfish, into your soup too early, it'll just turn into little feathers, just little tiny pieces. Kind of wanted a little bit of both. And the broccoli is just great. It's not overcooked at all. My coonhound is standing right behind you guys just staring at me and every time I say oh it tastes great she's like oh really let me try whoa whoo could have waited could have waited for it to cool down it is really really good this is me wanting it to be fall already making stews I just want it to be fall I want it to cool off it's getting there it's kind of nice tonight it's like 72 degrees outside or feels like it with the breeze whoa this is pretty good you can taste the onion because remember I put onion in the stock if you saw that video when I was making the stock and then I put more onion in it when I was fortifying the stock so it has a very good onion flavor and then you could taste the uh, caraway and the rosemary and everything else it's not a real heavy dish it's kind of light actually mm. Mm. wow I made enough of this to last for a couple days or so when that cools down I'll put it in the Tupperware and put it off into the fridge and we'll have it for tomorrow yeah, you're right, guys. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.